Oh, this level. I think this is a good one. I think this is a good one. Which is great, because I've... I've been... slowly draining of energy. If that sentence didn't have any... If, if that... If this hasn't... If the, all, all this messy words... doesn't speak for itself, I don't know what will. There's also a couple of specials around. I don't know if I really need them. Or not. No, please, please, knock back. No, why knock back? Why? I might be wrong. <laughs> I don't- I think I'm- the main reason I'm having trouble with this right now is not because the level being bad, it's because I'm- because I'm bad. And also, maybe it was out of sync? Also, no. Oh my goodness. Can I- I'm gonna restart. It's not often that I restart. But I was just doing bad. Too terrible. I'm gonna... Why? Why? There's no way to really dodge that. Why? 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 I've, I've not had trouble with this before. Why am I having trouble with trouble... Trouble, 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 trouble with this now? Let me just skip everything and just go to the end. Maybe because I'm supposed to be using the ink storms to take out the things I'm struggling with. Yeah, it stops them. Somewhat. You can also kind of go on the edge of this. Somewhat. And use these towers. To destroy them. Destroy their towers. And I think this is basically the end here. We just need to get up. Which we can also push these off the edge, I believe. If you play our cards right. What is that thing doing? Also, if I wait long enough, these enemies will just die to the bowling ball. Four seven, new record. Get the ball rolling. Yeah, the ball was really rolling after that first section where I was getting knocked off the edge. Looks like you've used the hero shot here, there, and everywhere. I've got all the data I need. I'm ready to go to retail with this bad boy. That means you can take it into turf war. Once I complete it and get it approved, I'll sell it at my shop in in Copper Square. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna go get to work. So, because we've used the hero shot in every level, it is now available to buy in the shop to use in multiplayer battles. This this is I think this is true with all the weapons. But boy does it take a long time to do that. So it is actually worth playing through all the the levels with every weapon if you un if you want to unlock all the weapons, I think. All the hero variants. But probably don't do it the way that I'm doing it, which is all of one level at a time. Just go through each weapon through the whole of every level and then go back through the whole game over and over. So, so you're not just doing the same level over and over and over and over and then go to the next level and do that over and over and over. I mean, I'm enjoying myself, but it, it drains energy very quickly. Okay, let's send that going. Be extra careful. It didn't really help. That's fine. I'm out of here anyway. That was close. That was very close. That was so close. All things considered, this isn't a long level. I'm gonna try and go fast here. It's probably not gonna work, but it's fine. Nope, knock back. I should have been more careful. I was just- if I can just make that- that crossover quickly enough. I could possibly. But I, sh I think it's probably better just to wait and let these enemies get out of the way and then go at a better time. 217 again! <laughs> I 
all it takes is one knock off the edge and you have to t add it, like, uh, and you end up exactly to 217. Doesn't matter where you fall off, it's always the same. I really... <laughs> I really need to just be paying attention and be patient and not just go directly into the death and die. <laughs> Take a time to plan your route before moving forward. That's not my plan. That's your plan. Thanks game for the advice, but I don't need it. Your advice is wasted on me. Thank you for not killing me. And I feel like Dooley's can make this if I just dodge roll fast enough. There we go, 150. Very nice. Oh, so that's a cool background. Just because of the way it kind of lines up. Well, so this level is mostly just dodging. There's not much, there's not really any combat to speak of. It's just all timing and skill. Sk all skill. Whether it's good skill or bad skill, we don't know, but it's all about that. Oh, why? I don't need to worry about a good time, I'm just gonna go for it. Not gonna reset. Seems like it gets out of sync with everything that it normally is, for some reason. There's some amount of RNG to this, I'm sure. Trust me. I'm not bad. The game's just weird. Or something. I love the sound effects in the background, like duh, 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 sound. It's such such a good sound effect. Nice aim. To a six with brother. <laughs> but I also fell off, but it's fine. Oh my goodness, it's fine. It was good for painting walls when I needed to paint walls at the end. It was also good for hitting the targets, actually. No, not, not like incredibly helpful because of everything that just happened where I fell off the edge and all that, but it was alright. I'm feeling confident with the splatling for this. Just because I can cover a lot more ground in front of me, hopefully. Please don't hit me. Oh my goodness. The rain's still going as well. It's nice having range, actually, for this. I'm, I'm getting... I'm here a lot earlier than I was on previous runs. I don't know how helpful that is, but it's a thing. Nice. I'm, like, on the right timing for that to just perfectly line up. I think I might actually get the best time with the splatling at this rate. Except for the fact that I can't stand the platform. I can't. <laughs> I'm messing up at the end. It's fine. Oh, really? Can I ink that? I think I... I can't. Okay. Oh! Hang on. I'm gonna be patient. I'm definitely not getting the right time now. I think this would have had the best time, though. If I had not messed it up at the end. Ow! Why did that... That's fine. It's understandable as to why Dooley's got the best time, though. I, I still think Splatling could have had had better. Better still. No, why? Why were you at that angle? You <laughs> did... I'm pretty sure there's something other than just my skill at, at fault here. Because that was on a different angle than what it normally is. I think when I die, it actually lines back up to what it's supposed to be, and that's why I I can do it on the second try, but not the first try. Sometimes. I'm... God, I'm... I'm just mad. I don't know why knockback is so crazy in Splatoon games. But no matter what, it always kills me. Just a tiny tap. Every time. I think that just went through the platform. Give me, please. Just give it. <laughs> Blaster did, didn't go well for me, apparently. Ah. <sighs> 
Slosher, maybe? Slosher, maybe. It's definitely good at getting coverage, so you can go quickly. But will it stand the wall of death? The angled wall of death. So far, so good. Did that just go up a level? I think I'm losing my mind the more I play this. Yeah, I'm definitely losing my mind the more I play this. And struggle. Why is there three? 149 with the slosher, let's go. Oh, thank you, 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 thank you. Never doubt the slosher. I, I've i always believed in it. But I have doubted the brush, and I'm not sure if I should believe it in, in it now for this one. It might be good for the, plat the angled platform of death. But I guess only time will tell. There's a lot of walls to paint though, which is the only problem. But it should be fine. Yep, good. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's happening with the angled platform of death sometimes. Sometimes it's just bad. Just in general. Please catch me, please catch me. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Never mind, brush is no longer believed in. I mean, I believed in it for a bit, but no longer. Because knockback. Every time. Why can't I jump? Why? Of all the things, why can't I jump the platform? A tiny jump. Why is that what I'm failing on? 204 with the brush. Okay, that's fine. I deserved that, I think. It's time for Noctiling level, let's see how this goes. They're pretty good. Okay, it's this one, okay. Just ignoring everything so far. Did I just get... a kill? I don't think so. But it's possible. Anything is possible. There's a lot of ink octolings around right now. I like that I can take some of them out without even trying as well. Ah! Getting stuck in the ground! Also, these are the tough ones, so I should probably be being a little bit more careful than this. But it's fine. I'm getting very lucky with some of this. Ah, uh, where do I need to go? I think I need to just go up. Probably. This is so satisfying to just ignore everything and just go straight to the end. Wow, 108. That's probably the most impressive time that I've had for that before. And I was just using a roller. Now I got hit. I'm dying. Don't want to die. Can't go out like this. No, it's fine. Death. Considering everything that just happened, I'm surprised I didn't die that quickly the first time through. I wouldn't say that this the charger is the best weapon for this, but it can pop the enemies, as they say. <laughs> That's not what they say, but anyway. Pop them. I'm just gonna restart quickly. I, I, I think I can do good with dualies if I just aim better. I was missing a lot more than I had the previous few rounds. It's still not doing great. I really like these levels, just because I can, like, once I have an order going, I can just go through them all, and it's super satisfying. Please, 
Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. There's a lot of them. Why are there so many of them? 107 with dualies, and I was struggling a little bit with that, so... I could even get a better time than that. In theory. Brillo's probably good for taking these enemies out, at least. Now, just don't get too close to them when they're spawning in. Wait, there's one left. How did I not grab that one? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I grabbed that one, but anyway. I think the enemy spawning depends on which ones you take out. Possibly. Because I left one to live and it changed the number down here, how many spawned. Spotling was alright. It was very strong. This means great. Ow! That was close. And will continue to be close. What just happened to the other one? It was jumping in and then it wasn't, wasn't there. I'm sure it's fine. I appear to be missing one, I think. Somewhere, and I don't know how. Oh, that one... There. How did I miss that one? I don't know. <laughs> because I was, I was, I don't know, I just probably just missed it. I was too focused on the enemy disappearing. Again, Blast was good. And Slush is definitely going to be good. Interested to see how Brush is going to be. Don't miss that, thank you. How are you still alive? I don't even know. Why are there two? Why are there two? It's fine. Mm, random spawning is interesting. My only concern with the brush is it's gonna, it's gonna use a lot more ink. Yeah. I'm gonna just take my time on this one since I've already got a pretty good time to work with. Brush was alright. It was a little bit slow in some places, but it's still got a decent time even though, even though. But there we go, that's all the regular stages out of the way. All that's left is to fight the final boss again with every weapon. Well, Brush is somewhat good for this. It's quite powerful as well because it's been upgraded. Just need to make sure I paint some extra ground for safety. Just need to hit these, please. So that they're not a problem. Ow! And also need to pay attention. That's another thing that I probably need to do. Didn't get enough of the things around me. Now I'm just stuck in the middle, basically. Also, the music is incredible. Ah! Don't run out of ink. It's very important that you don't do that. I love hitting both of them back at the same time with this weapon. Since you can. And basically once we get to the part with the Rainmaker, it's gonna be the same anyway, so... What's well, that rebounded? Interesting. Man, I love Splatoon. In the story modes and the multiplayer. I just love the final bosses that it has. Also, I, I doubt we're going to get any different times for this because of how kind of on rails it is. But anyway. 549. And now we can use the, the this, this roller anywhere if we buy it from the shop. Well, I think the stats of each weapon is going to be slightly different in multiplayer than it is in single player because of how 
the upgrades and stuff work? Possibly? Possibly. Probably. We can certainly cover the ground around us quite well with the charger, actually. Just go like that, basically. And we still have plenty of ink as well to keep going. As long as we play our cards right. It's also good for just going in straight lines away from that kind of bomb, the suction bombs. What are you doing? <laughs> You're right here. Oh boy. That somehow worked. I wasn't paying attention. I'm just charging up my charger all the way so I can cover more ground. Faster. Somewhat. You can kind of pick these things off as well. Before they hit, touch the ground. There's only one left as you can see. A lot of them also fell off the edge, which probably helped. I wasn't paying attention, but I still got it. It's fine. Please. It's fine. I missed the last second one, though. I need to pay attention. Get too caught up covering the ground. I kind of like when he actually just goes all over the place and doesn't stay still in this phase. Kind of makes it a lot more interesting. Just turning back and forth. Although I kind of wish he was firing more things at you in this phase. Like, imagine he had, like, um, a stingray, or if he shot out more bullet bills that would stay along the track rail and kind of go in circles. Meet you on the other end or something. <laughs> Just all the things, basically. For some reason, I'm crazy like that. Also, apparently you can't use your sub-weapon when you've got the Rainmaker, so you actually have to shoot the end with the Rainmaker. But now we've got Charger unlocked in the shop. The hero version. There we go. On to the dualies. Definitely worth going through every level with dualies. Dualies is decent enough at covering ground, but it's very good at attack as well, so... Gonna make the most of paying attention. And if I push forward, I can actually cover more ground at the same time as attacking. And if I run into any trouble, I can also dodge roll. Nicely done. Very strong. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, but it's okay because dualies are incredible. This is actually a fun boss to fight. You know, some of them were kind of annoying to fight with different weapons, but this one actually works with other weapons, it seems. And the music definitely adds to the fight and makes it a lot, lot of fun. I love being able to move around a lot in this as well. Also, I think it's cool that all of the ink that we shoot out during the final phase is actually on the ground here. Hero Duelists are now available everywhere. Um, I'm noticing how good Brella is at just covering the ground without using much ink. Like seriously, I have so much extra ink right now. For some reason. I should also be probably be paying attention to where the what the boss is doing. But like I can I can just keep shooting out and not run out of ink for some reason. I mean, obviously it's using some, but it's not using much. I imagine it uses most of it with its main... ...like, thing where you hold it down all the way. You can really cover the ground. I've been firing it for so long that I've actually run out of ink. But it took so long for it to actually do that. I was firing constantly. I don't think you can keep up with my painting, sir. 
nothing can stop me from covering every spot on this area. You know, thinking about covering all the space in this area is making me think about what other kind of bosses you could fight in this game, or in a Splatoon game. And I think it'd be really cool to have a Splatoon boss which takes you to all these different multiplayer levels. Like through portals or something, I don't know, just, or just teleporting around between them. Through time, maybe. We've already gone to space, so we might as well go to time now. To time. The place called time. I don't know. Space has been a constant theme throughout Splashing, which is cool. Wasn't paying attention, but that's okay because I can hit everything. Actually, that didn't use much ink using the umbrella, like sending the umbrella going. Might be good to just send it, maybe. But since it doesn't use that much ink, it also means I can use like sub weapons more a little bit and not have to worry about running out of ink. It's a good thing it doesn't make you watch the credits after every time you fight the boss. Maybe it does, but I've been skipping whatever it is after the end of the fight anyway, so... No, I no, that's only skipping the... between... the finishing the boss and getting the... uh... thing at the end. The Zapfish. So I'm not skipping the credits. So I was right the first time. And the brillo is now available in the shop. It's nice going through these one by one and just unlocking them. It's very... It, it feels like it's been a long journey to get this far. Probably because I've been not doing this all in one go. You know what's weird? I think... That there's something different about this boss that do just do uses ink less. Possibly. Because I feel like I should be have used more ink than that. By this point. But I'm pleased with the coverage of the ground so far. This has got very good range for getting- hitting the fists early. I'm like, like able to hit them as soon as they shoot out. It's great. 539 apparently with the umbrella I assume I can't remember because it the last part of the fight kind of makes me forget what weapon I'm using which I guess is a good thing no that was the splatling cool that would make sense and now we get to use it anywhere as long as we pay for it in the shop but anyway blaster time it's very slow trying to ink the ground with this weapon, but at least I can hit the, the fists in one shot. As long as I hit them directly. I've painted everything I possibly can. <laughs> Don't think I can paint much more than that. <laughs> Look at it all. Completely unnecessary, but I want it. And now... The Hero Blaster is available everywhere. So Blaster is interesting, it doesn't quite go as strong as you'd like it to. But it's, it's good, so. Ow! It's fine, I can take a hit. Just one hit, not two. Whereas I have to hit, hit their thing, things twice, so. And use a bit more ink doing so. Got both, like, I got all the, the, the bowl things. You know what I mean. I can't explain it better than that. I got all the bowl things with this, which feels pretty good. I feel like a lot of it depends on the order that you take them out, but you can definitely get rid of them all. It may also depend on the phase of the fight, because I didn't get them all that time. Got a fair bit of them, though. And that's the slosher taken care of for every level. Very nice. Now it's just down to the brush. I mean, the brush is alright, but it's a bit slow when you're just standing still, just throwing ink everywhere. Because you can't just move and 
throw ink quickly unless you're like jumping or something. But that's fine. It is a satisfying weapon to use when th throwing back his fists. And it's good for covering ground again when it gets painted. Oh, super satisfying double shot. It's alright taking out the orbs as well. The balls. Only missed two of them apparently. On this phase at least. One left. Well, that's alright. It's a pretty good average. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get all of those this in this phase. Shooting this phase early is risky, but it can work sometimes. And with that... That is everything. Get the hero brush now. Thanks to your efforts, I've got all the data I needed need for this location. Here's a little something for helping me with my tests. Go get your award, you earned it. Guess that's just the meal ticket, but there we go. That is every level with every weapon. And now they're all unlocked in the shop. So there we go. <laughs> just like that. And that is all for Splatoon 2 now. It only took me... Hang on, let me check. Many, many recordings of post-game. For just this mode. 25 parts to record... All the extra weapons for this. But there we go. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. It's time to say goodbye to Splatoon 2 for a while. Quite a long while probably.